Alright, uh, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crabble back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a how to harmonize like Ty Dolla Sign in the song Purple Emoji. Now, I've never heard this song before, and I wanna thank at XTRVX for recommending me this song because it has a sweet harmony in it that I kinda can break down and do in my simple way. Anyway, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, notification bell as well, so you never miss a video that I post. Also, brand new presets are out in the description below. I'm not making a video on them yet, but they're already released. If you wanna go grab them, we got Gunna, Lil Mosey, and Lil Uzi. Yeah, check them out in my description down below. We got we got preset packs, we got equipment, we got music, we got social media, and we got a distro kid lane to get 5% off your sign up. Anyway, title assigned purple emoji harmonization tutorial. Let's get in the video. So if you look at my screen, what you're gonna see here is a stack. This is how many vocals I have. So here's the harmony right here. I'm gonna play it right now and I'm gonna explain it. My singing sucks in this song, but the harmony's cool. Okay, so how it goes, we got a lead, we got a back left harmony, a back right, the second back left, which is quieter and more in the background, and the second back right as well. Um, the harmonies are me singing in a different voice and the normal is me singing how I was regularly singing it. This is what it sounds like. With love, if we can't get into it, turn around and make up. You kept it solid from beginning, baby, who my day one. You caught me in a lie, look back up at you like I'm done. Very nice, isn't it? You kept it silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. Silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. So for this to work correctly, I have a lead track that I created, and then off of that, variations of it are used for the backgrounds, and it's very easy. So what I'm gonna do is show you the, uh, I'm gonna show you the lead vocal, and then we're gonna go from there. So with the lead, we wanna start with a new track. New audio track. So we're gonna pull each one over one by one and see what's going on. So first off, we got pitch correction. Um, he can sing. Please don't tell me he doesn't use auto tune because I'm using it. Okay, just know that. Pitch, pitch correction, mono. I kind of hate saying this, but I'm in G sharp major scale, and now it's not gonna be that way for you. It's whatever the key of your song is. This is one sounding good to me, so I picked it. Surprise times twenty, so you can still kind of have that human sound of singing as well as having that auto tune effect as well, just like Tidal Sign. Next, we have a compressor. Now this is a very simple track because I really only care about the uh, harmony. A compressor. We're gonna dynamics compressor and mono all right and you're in mono why did i say that <laughs> when you're in the compressor vintage fet what i wanted was a just negative five reduction so as you see when i talk the needle bumps in between these two to get that out of 2.9 to 1 ratio with a minus 19 decibel reduction makeups at zero auto gain make sure that's off the knees is 0.7 because i don't change that the attacks at 56 releases at 220 and 100 no distortion boom next we got the channel eq clean up the vocal after we do the, the compression we got to clean it up so eq channel eq mono now, once you're in the good old mono, why did I say that again? What is happening? Once you're in the EQ, you can also copy all these settings down below, but I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Uh, I took the red brought up to 200 and have a 0.75 on the width, this little slope here. And then I skipped the yellow and orange and I grabbed a hold of this green one. Take it to 290 and drop a 1.5 dB with a 0.3 width. Now to make the width, you click the dot, grab by the side, and you make it mm, or small, which is 0.3. Then I went ahead and grabbed my least favorite frequency, 500 hertz on this green guy. Drop the negative 4.5, 1.9 on the width. Maybe it's the best frequency and someone can point that out to me, but I don't like it, took it away. Bumped over the 5K, 1.5 dB, 5K, 0.67, and then dropped underneath the 10K, negative 2.5 dB purple. There we go. Then we have a multi-presser to bump up the sounds a little bit. Uh, dynamics, multi-presser, mono. Once you're in the multi-presser, first you wanna stretch these out to the correct coordinates. This one is stretched to 160 hertz. This one's at 1,000. This one's at 4,400. And then this one remains the same. Uh, what we got here is we drop the one 10 dB. We drop the two 3 dB, and then we raise the four 5 dB. We took away the high end a little bit in the EQ and brought it back up for the more pleasant sounds now. That could be wrong, but oh well. Then a four dB output increase to give it that volume. Then we want a nice reverb in the bus to create a very nice atmospheric harmony. Okay, so in the bus one that's created over here, we want to click on it. I don't know why I keep changing my accent. Reverb space designer mono to stereo once you're inside the space designer we're gonna do a 5.1 seconds shimmering plate large space is plate reverb 5.1 shimmering plate uh, wets at negative 10 dry is mute and these are all the same we want the bus setting at negative 17 that is your lead now let's get into the most important part to create the harmony this is how to create the harmony so now that we covered the lead now we can duplicate it and create the harmony that we have okay now what we're gonna do is going to the harmony section and bring this lead that I'm talking on into it. We got four backup tracks in the whole harmony. So you're gonna duplicate that track four times. So one, two, three, four. And I already have it duplicated, so we're just gonna delete those and then go to these. So with your tracks, these are obviously all leads and these are all backups. So sort them out 
back left, back right, second back left, second back right, and you want to start off by panning each one. So the back left, we have a negative 35 to start, and the back right, we have a plus 35. For second back left, we got a negative 45, and then plus 45 for the back right, which is giving them all their separate locations so the harmony can work. Then relative to the volume, 3.5 for the lead, the back harmony is zero, which is 3.5 less, and these are both zero. And then the final back harmonies are negative three and negative three. Relative to this lead, it's like negative 6.5. We keep removing the volume so we kind of diversify each vocal and make it spread apart. Now we're talking back left, as you can hear. The only thing differently is this. The bus one's at negative 10, and I added a stereo spread. Imaging, stereo spread, mono to stereo. You click on it, so we're taking 40% and 40%. I mean, same thing. 40, 40, eight for the order. And we're tackling more of the mid high level frequencies from 1000 to 5000. For the right, we have another stereo spread. 40, 40, eight order, same exact thing. The back left and back right are exactly the same except just pan differently, very simple. And then for the second, as you can hear I'm talking, it's a little quieter and it's a little more separated. In this stereo spread, we're doing 20, 20, 2000 and 10,000 with a five order. And it's just copy and pasted for the back right. So two of the same exact tracks just pan differently, but the bus is at negative 10. To go over it once again, if anyone's confused, for the lead track, the bus knob's at negative 17 for the lead, then all the backups are at negative 10. The only thing added to the backup track is a stereo spread, and these two have the same, and then the seconds have the same. Now we get into recording. One of the most important parts about making a harmony is we're actually recording it. So this is what it sounds like before I erase it. You kept it silent from beginning, baby. Who my day one? You got me in a lot of back up at you like I'm done. Alright, we're gonna delete it and then we're just gonna re-record it. So with the lead, you're gonna record it normally. Like this is a normal recording of how I would sing the song. You kept it silent from beginning, baby. You my day one. You got you kept it silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. I might have botched that a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> Also very important, I'm gonna say this now. Since you're putting a ton of vocals together, what you wanna do is have flex pitch activated. So every time you record something, you wanna double click it. Click the little flex guy here, turn on flex, boom, flex pitch. Now when you're inside of it, you wanna have the exact scale quantized to your pitch correction settings. So I have G sharp major. What I'm gonna do is highlight all these and snap them all correctly. And then I'm gonna activate the plugins or pitch correction in the bus. You kept it silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. Now we're gonna record the back left which I have harmony on there, so I'm gonna be singing it in kind of a different way. So here we go. So I sung it like that, in kind of a higher pitch. So, recorded it, double click, flex it, pitch, because we wanna have it perfectly. We wanna have it perfectly matched to the other tracks. Snap it, pull it down to the back left, and let's see what's going on here. You kept it silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. So that's basically just a back left harmony added. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the back right. The sing it the same way I just did. Right, here we go. With love, if we can't get into it, turn around and make up. You kept it silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. You like I always do, we gotta flex it real quick. It's already activated because it is. Get it straight, bring it down to the right side, and let's play it. You kept it silent from beginning, baby, you my day one. Okay, now time for the second back left harmony. We're gonna sing it the exact same way again. Get into it, turn around and make a You kept it silent for me, get him, baby. You my day one. You got me. Alright, flex pitch it. Bring it down to back left harmony. Oh wait, also this is wrong because this should be here. Okay, now it's all the right volume. This is what it sounds like so far. You kept it silent for me, get him, baby. You my day one. And then we do it one more time. We're gonna do it in a normal voice again, like I did for the original lead. Do it, turn around and make a You kept this silent for me, get him, baby. You my day one. You got all right. Flex pitch it to make it perfectly matched. Close out. Bring it down to second back right normal. And this is what the whole harmony sounds like. You kept it silent for me, get him, baby. You my day one. So that's how I would layer a harmony. I have other harmony videos on my channel. Uh, links will be in the description, but I'm doing them all in a different way. This time using stereo spread and a little different technique. Now I'm gonna finish it off and have fun. You know I need you, baby. So much on my mind, I ain't even really sleeping lately. I said some things I didn't mean. I know I did too much. What's love if we can't get into it? Turn around and make up. You kept it silent from beginning, baby. You my day one. You got me here alive, but you turn up in it. No, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know how to go slow, cause I'm just oh. That was off. That was off key. <laughs> wow. I need you now. Can you help me go around? Oh, no. That is about it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. And if you didn't, I don't know what else to say to you. 
Oh my god. Like I said before, a new preset's out in the description below. There's also a lot of other cool stuff down there you can check out. Subscribe or not subscribe. Notification bell as well. Sorry this video was a day late. Make sure to drop a like on the video, leave a comment, tell me what you think, what I should do next. Anyway, this has been a crowd board. How to harmonize like Ty Dolla Sign in purple emoji. In Logic Pro 10 using only stock plugins. And like always, we out.